Alright, everyone, welcome back to StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Voice. My name is Watoba. And I know what you're thinking. I haven't been uploading any video in a couple of days, but don't you worry. I'm still here. I'm not dead. I'm still right here. And I'm gonna uh, make it up for you right now. On a couple of days, I'm gonna try to double upload in uh, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday. But right now, we had. Uh, Zerg vs Protoss play on Asus Plan LE. So let's introduce our player, shall we? So spotted in the bottom right corner of Asus Plan LE. He's known by nickname of Class and his opponent, one of the best Zerg in the world, is Korean Zerg player and he's known by nickname of Zero. And if you don't know, uh, in WESG, uh, the tournament that happened like last week or so, Zero is in the group with three other Zerg player. And guess what? No spoiler, but still, I mean, it's last week. So just, just alert you. Uh, Zero win nine zero. He come first. He win uh nine matchup in ZBZ. So if anyone who would tell, oh ZBZ, it's a luck based matchup. It is not. It's actually a very skill-based matchup. I mean, if you roll one bangling into a bunch of zergling, you may win the game, but that's not luck. You have to control and micro the zergling anyway. So, Zero, best zerg in the world, uh, I believe he has 7k plus MMR, which is insanely good. Not a whole lot of people had reached 7k MMR. There's like a Eclipse uh, exclusive club right there uh, for anyone that reached 7k MMR and like 10 or so people. Uh, right now back in the matchup, nothing very special. Uh, While well, classes go for the typical Protoss build, Zero coming up with a two base, very basic Zerg play. Right here, Melabolic Boost is now on the production tab. Stargate will be a tech of choice right here for our blue Protoss player. Adept will be Crotobusing now. Right here, hard, uh, solid enough. We didn't see that Zero had two sets of Zergling already out. He don't quite start the third base just yet. He tries moving uh, fight the Adept. Right now, this Overlord will scouting. The Adept will be Crotobus out. The second one now on the production tab as well. Now, if you don't know about this uh, new patch upgrade, I think that the only thing that upgrade that managed to Zerg is you cannot drop in uh, hatchery tech anymore. So normally, if you want to uh, move an overlord into the drop overlord, you will need uh, an evolution chamber. But right now, after the next patch, I think it's 4.243, uh, <clears throat> the Overlord will be able to move into the Trouble Lord only in Lair tag. So there won't be any uh, early Zergling drop or maybe even Bangling Harass drop. Right now we do need to see that very very safe play while classes go for the Phoenix first. Followed up with the Oracle right here. Try to secure the two main expansion right here while Zero Maybe split block a little bit while the Overlord's going down, but still, he grabbed the third base and in a very substantial opportunity. Phoenix tried to go hunt for some more Overlord right now, the switch to the Robo facility, not a Twilight Council this time. So I think he's gonna produce Immortal. Uh, because I don't think he's gonna need the Warp Prism to Warp in anything while he chooses the Stargate tag. <coughs> Also, Twilight Council, interesting enough, with two base three tech right here, you don't have enough uh, resources to uh, deny uh, produce enough unit. Then I pick it up right there, use the Phoenix to pick up, and then use the Oracle to kill the throne. Three Q, three thrones been going down, but still the layer is halfway through. What is he gonna choose right now? Roach Warren, Double Gas Geyser in the ex uh, expansion will <coughs> indicate that he's gonna go for a little bit of Roach's timing push right now. Zella just now on production tab 3 Gateway will be added on very greedy play right here. I think that 5 Gateway Robo 
Stargate as well. Twilight, you cannot uh, have enough resources to support all of those structure. But still, Classes is now try to kill his third base location with one Oracle and one Hero Zealot try to go away all those Zergly. In the meantime, Rushron is now finishing up. Lair is now ready. Don't quite see the evil chamber just yet. Clio Reconstitution is now on the production tab. So he's gonna try to moving out with the roaches. And now, the thing that I see in WCHG is that a lot of Zerg player focus in Queen. And they go with Zergling, Roaches, and Queen instead. Right here, we see double Archon drop right here from classes. Very basic uh, Protoss in uh, Protoss strategy in the book right here. Try to snap down the Queen. The Roaches is not trying to come in. If you want to deny uh, Archon, the only thing that matter is Roaches because uh, Zergling is a very easy target for Archon. Uh, I can do bonus damage again, like unit, and uh, do some little bit slash damage. So Zuckling will die to Archon very, very quickly. Plus one melee upgrade. We're now on the production tab. Zuckling run by a little bit, try to snipe some pro, but there's none in the top bay location. So they just gonna hang out right here. Immortal now on the production tab. The second one will be join the battlefield soon enough. More zealot and sentry will be woven in here. Seems like Klaas is gonna go for a big push right now. While Cero not have a lot of uh, roaches just yet, but he's at 61 worker. He has the advantage right here while Klaas is only have 48 worker right now. For my location, we'll try to go end up right here for our Korean player. But right now Klaas is 3 base push. Gonna come in with Zealot charge. With the uh, warp prism, he can do a little bit of immortal or maybe archon uh, micro with this warp prism. Phoenix is also joined the battlefield, trying to pick it up any flying unit on the way. Right now, the big engagement is gonna happen right here. A lot of queen support right now, but the zealot is charging forward. Now, notice the zealot do hack a lot of damage again. Uh, Pretty much everything, but if you want to win against those zealots, you will need a lot of bangling. And right now, classes is going to town right here. More roaches will be reinforcement right now. But if classes manage to split uh, the third base and the second base right here, Zero will have a very hard time to deal with this. But still, classes with the warp prism, he will try to deny any reinforcement in the way. Zero is now in a lot of trouble. The troll will be pulling out Warp Prism. Once again, Warp in a lot of Zealot and they will deal a heck of a lot of damage to this top base 11 troll. It's been going down. Zero still tries his best to deny any kind of aggression, but still, there are two Immortal. And Immortal deal bonus damage again. Armor and Roaches is pure armor. With the Warp Prism Micro like this, classes will have no chance to lose this engagement. 20 throws has been going down, the third base is not gonna leave either. And will classes gonna abandon, oh no, abandon retreat for now. The Roaches still try to fight, the Immortal will drop once again. Very nice Micro right there, the Roaches is now trying to retreat back. Zero drop to 48 Walker, and while that happening, Classes still have his uh, third base instead. A lot of High Templar will be wobbling in here. Four more Archon will be reinforced to this party. And you need to regroup a little bit, Zero. He tried to go for the counter attack. Maybe he decide he cannot go with the, uh, mic a micro base uh, matchup right here and he go for a big push right now is that gonna be enough one in mono is going now Archon will be pushing but Sarah realizes he cannot hold while at home classes is penetrate his expansion so Sarah decide to cheat you out of this game what an incredible man so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you do make sure you leave a like down below and click that subscribe button so you can receive the notification as soon as the next video go live. In all in that, I will leave you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, okay? And as always, see ya.